This is a quick tutorial on our new feature of being able to drop an image into the app and then plot your height readings directly on the image. This will work with either uh, outside aerial drones, uh, GPS, or Google Maps. Uh, you can also use it inside structures with uh, floor plans, etc. But uh, what we're going to be doing here very quickly is just uh, using it with the outside aerial maps. Okay, from the home screen on the app, you'll notice a new button right under. You have the the line that has view readings, save readings, and a little microphone. Directly under that, you'll notice a little button that says mapping. You tag on the mapping. Then you simply choose the image that you like from your photo library. We're going to use this particular image today. Uh, you can crop that a little if you want. It makes it a little easier to use sometimes. And choose that image. Now you can see on the very top of the screen, that is displaying the reading that's, that's on your level. You can see that going up and down now. You zero the level wherever you want to start. Typically zero it. You don't have to. You can use any random number that you want. I'm going to, I'm going to use two fingers and expand this screen just a little bit. We're close enough here at an eighth of an inch. And anywhere I line these crosshairs up, that's where it's going to drop our readings in, right below that crosshair. So let's put our first eighth inch reading there. Now, I'm not on site. I'm just doing this. I'm dropping some random readings in here. We're going to go over to this location. I'm going to drop the level down about, I don't know, six, seven, eight inches or whatever. We're going to drop a height reading in here. Of course, if you were working the property, you'd have the uh, level on the monopod and just give it time to settle out and what have you. I don't know if this is straw or what this is. It'd be easy to see. I'm going to drop the level down a little bit more so you'll see the reading increase a little. And then we'll drop another reading here. This is super easy to add these readings. Anyone can do this. With the 3D, the true 3D mapping where we're drawing X, Y, and Z, that's a little bit more complicated. This is very simple here. And right now, we don't even have the save function in, uh, but all you have to do is just shrink this back so you can see all of your readings and just take a screenshot. And it does a really cool job of showing what you got. Of course, we'll be refining this, and I think this app's gonna come up much quicker than some of our others have, at least the, the, the next basic functions. So we'll have this out so crews can actually put it into use.